Welcome back everyone. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can get a different surface finish on uh, certain filaments. So for instance, if you have a silk filament or a filament that is glossy, uh, you can actually take advantage of the speed settings within uh, Bamboo Studio. Now, you'll notice that with a lot of the faster printers, it doesn't just have to be a bamboo printer, um, your surface finish comes out matte when you print quickly, but there's a way where you can actually get that glossy shine uh, and still maintain a good chunk of the speed. So right now, uh, I have this little dyno I pulled from printables. Uh, haven't done anything else but keep it on the uh, quick um, standard settings, rather. Uh, we'll slice this. All right, so we have a standard print, uh, two millimeter layer height, and we're at a little under two hours. And in order to get that gloss, we're just gonna actually change the speed. Uh, we're actually only going to change the speed in the outer wall and the top surface. So if we change this to a 50, and of course you can adjust it accordingly if you have, um, uh, if you ran like temp towers and things like that, uh, then we'll slice again. And we've added eh, a little over 30 minutes onto the print, uh, but we've actually made a big difference in how it prints out. Now, if you do something, let's say 30 millimeters a second, uh, we added another 30 minutes or so. Um, now, when you actually slice a model, uh, right now you're probably looking at the uh, line type. You can go to the speed, and you'll see what speed uh, each of these layers actually print at. Now, since you do have a faster printer, uh, you can iterate. So essentially, you can run multiple prints uh, and see what looks best for you. So on the other side, I'll actually show you how these uh, turn out. So looking at print quality, you won't see much of a difference between the 50 and the 30 millimeters per second, uh, and it adds more time. Now let's look at the quality differences between the 200 millimeters per second and the 50 millimeters. Now the 50 is uniform all throughout, and the 200 you can actually see when the printer changes speed. So looking at this image, uh, you'll see that the inner wall is actually at a faster speed than the outer wall. We can actually take advantage of our fast printers by effectively slowing down the outer surface layer and keeping the speed for the inner walls. And here's an example of just changing those two speed settings, uh, what kind of gloss and shine you can get out of your prints. Thank you for watching. So of course, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to create sort of like a tutorial series. Uh, so you guys just tell me what you're looking for and uh, I'll try to make a video. Thank you.